I've been asked what happens when you put a little bit of ethanoic acid, which is actually just white vinegar, into water. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid. It gives away some of its H atoms as part of this carboxylic acid group to water. What your teacher wants to know is, do you know that that H transfers to the water? That's what an acid does by definition. That gives you H3O+. plus. It's called the hydronium ion, but it's really just an H2O with an extra H on it. And that H brings a charge of plus one. That also leaves you with what we call the conjugate base of this acid. It is the acid, but missing an H+. Plus. So draw it without that last H and also give it a minus one charge because you lost the positive charge from the H. So the official answer here in words is a hydronium ion plus this ion, which happens to be called ethanoate. Now, I've never actually been asked to draw that in words, and I've never asked a kid to do that either. But what I have asked is, what is the product? Now, the other thing I need to point out is that this is not a 100% completion reaction. It's not even close. The proper arrow you're supposed to use here is the equilibrium arrow. And, fun fact, the percent completion of this reaction is actually close to 1%. It depends on the concentration of this that you put in. And if you know anything about Ka, you'd be able to calculate it. The Ka here is a very small number times 10 to the negative 5. That's why we call it a weak acid. And this reaction goes like 1 to 2% completion only. So for every 100 molecules of this that you dissolve in water one or two of those hundred will give their H's away to water, produce that H3O plus that makes the water acidic, and the rest actually stay in solution as the whole molecule. Cool. Good information. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.